Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about attributes in HTML. Last two classes, we discussed about what is inline element, what is lateral element, how we can check the behavior of an element. Means is this element is like inline or it's like a block level. If it is like inline, how we can convert into block level. If it is like a block level, how we can convert into inline. These things we cover. Now, the next level discussion is like attribute. What is an attribute? Let me open our Visual Studio code first. Okay, this is the content. This is the content I want to run. So let me run this one first. Okay, yes. I run in one server. Now it's like this. This is my content. Okay, what is an attribute? Why we go for attribute? The attribute, how it is look like mean, the attribute is like a key and a value pair. Key and value pair. Why we go for this attribute means this key value pairs tell something about your element. See here, the element is this one. The element is this one. You open element and this is my content. This is my closing element. Okay, if you want to tell something about your element, Okay, how we can tell something about your element means by using an attributes. Where we want me to write the attributes means get the inside the open element. Okay, just put some space. Here you can write your attribute. So one of the attribute is like ID. ID is one attribute. Okay, just tell something. The identity of this particular thing. Okay, my first thing. My first thing. Okay, this is the ID for this particular thing or not. Now, these attributes tell something about this div. What it is going to tell the identity of this particular div or not. Like this, each and every element, you can write some attributes. You can write some attributes. Okay, which attributes means each and every element has their own specific attributes. You should not use this attribute, the same attribute. For example, you have an image there. You have an image is there inside the image. Inside the image, if you want to display one image, it is coming from outside. Some path is there. From there, if you want to display the image, the attribute name is like the source. Here you have to write like the image path. Image path you have to mention here. Now this is the source attribute, right? This source attribute specific to only image, not for B, not for H1, not for T. Okay, that means each and every element has their own specific attributes or there or not. For example, if you want to take an anchor tag, anchor tag is just used for what? To navigate one page to another page. If you want to navigate, just click on this one. If I click on this one, where you want me to navigate means you can specify that navigation path by using an href attribute. Here, the href is only for anchor, not for div, not for span. So each and every element has their own specific attributes given by W3 people. You can ask one question, ID attribute is there, is it like common for all or not? Yes, few of the attributes are common for each and every element. What are those, you know? One is like ID attribute is common. The another one is like name attribute is common. Another one is like class attribute is common. Another one is like style attribute is common. Q of the attributes common for all W3 elements. ID you can use for div, span, image, A, H, okay, A here. Name you can use it, class like this. These are the common attributes. You can use for any element. Some of the specific attributes are there. You have to use for that element only. So for one element, how many attributes I can write? mean any number of attributes you can write it but one attribute to another attribute you should have to give some space to differentiate one attribute to another attribute how we can differentiate means by using by using a space see this key value key value how we can differentiate one key value to another key value by using space or not by using this space now span is there okay just you can write one of the attributes is an attribute, toolkit attribute. Okay, welcome zone. Welcome zone. See this, this toolkit attribute, how it's going to behave. 
Okay, if I put my cursor here, welcome to the group. It came or not. It tells something about your element. For this particular element, okay, the tool tip is like welcome to me, like this is going to tell or not. So, final conclusion is like attribute is like a key value pair. It just tells something about your element. How many attributes you can write for one element means you can write any number of attributes you can write it. One attribute to another attribute, how we can differentiate by using space. There has some common attributes are there, like ID, name, class, style. You can use that attributes to any elements, but some of the attributes are specific to that element only. You should not use that particular attribute to another element. That's the example is like image source. This attribute only for image, okay, not for B, not for H1. Okay, H of attribute is that this attribute only for anchor, not for B, not for image, not for H1. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.